there is an outbreak of cholera in Nigeria, and you can confirm this from the Nigerian CDC or the WHO Africa website. And cholera is a preventable disease, so let's talk about how to prevent cholera. First, you want to ensure that the water you are drinking is safe for consumption. And mind you, not all sachet water and bottled water are safe for consumption. That's why the fact that they are called pure water. If you're taking bottled water or sachet water, ensure that the seal is not broken and it is not leaking from anywhere. If you are taking water that you just fetched from your borehole or from the tap, then you want to consider treating the water with chlorine, boiling the water or filtering the water. Mind you, when you are boiling the water, after the water has reached boiling point, you want to still leave it on heat to heat again for at least another one minute. And water that you boil or filter can still be contaminated. So after boiling or filtering the water, you want to keep it in a clean and safe environment. Now, you remember how during the COVID-19, you had to wash your hands frequently? Well, if you have stopped washing your hands, then you have to start again. Wash your hands. Wash your hands before you start cooking, after using the toilet, whether you peed or poo. Wash your hands when you come back home. Just wash your hands frequently or use a hand sanitizer. If you are someone who takes care of the sick, after taking care of them, ensure to wash your hands. Mind you, if you are taking care of someone who has diarrhea, then washing your hands is not optional. And plus, AxNivy has a free diarrhea screening test. You can check that out and to do that, just send diarrhea to the comment section. You see fruits and vegetables, you want to be very careful before consuming them. For vegetables, ensure that they are properly cooked before consuming them. And I know we are used to eating the back of fruits because they contain fiber that help in bowel movements and have other health benefits. But for now, you want to reconsider eating fruits that cannot be peeled. Peel the back of fruits before consuming them. This is because you are not so sure of the type of water that the fruit vendor have used to wash the fruit. And by merely washing it at home, you may not be able to properly decontaminate the fruit. So consider peeling the back of the fruit before consuming them. I know so many people like seafood though, but now you want to ensure that whatever seafood you are consuming is properly cooked. Lastly, ensure that your house is properly sanitized. Keep your toilets clean, keep your kitchen clean, and keep the whole house clean. Wash your rags as well. In case you do not know, cholera also has its vaccine, and we'll talk about that in another video. But for now, keep cholera away by doing these things that I've mentioned in this video. And stay safe out there.